Hey guys, Steve Houston, welcome back to my channel. I want to just do a little bit of an introduction to the video that's coming up here in just a few seconds. This video, I've been a lot of people, maybe you've seen a couple of negative comments on my uh, YouTube videos over the last couple of days. Some guys found out, same guy, I appreciate and love all you guys, but this guy is, is the reason why he didn't make it in the industry. Comments that he's making means that he didn't fully go through any training and didn't understand leads or chargebacks. So I wanted to bring this video out this is just one video sample of our robust onboarding, training, and ongoing support that we offer our, our own agents here in our agency. Uh, and throughout, it's about chargebacks. I thought it was fairly well done, even though I did it. Uh, it was fairly well done. We should get the point across that we do explain chargebacks. We, we explain how to avoid them and the reason why they're there in the first place, which is that you're basically getting paid an advanced, unearned commission. Otherwise, we'd be trying to support our families on a much smaller amount of income for writing that sale. I go through this video, and I just want to say I appreciate that all of you. Thank you. I'm grateful that you're here. I'm trying to grow this channel, reach more agents, and let them know there is a difference between just signing up with somebody that is brand new and has no training, has no, can't support you, they don't know anything, and even with an IMO, IMOs are not in the business to train you on a one-on-one -on -one individual basis. They do provide some training at a global level. It's really up to who brought you in, that agency or that agent that, that hired you and recruited you into the, that, that agency to provide that support. And again, if they don't provide support, many don't in this industry because it's more of a network marketing type of agency. Ours is not. Uh, we do allow people to build their own agencies, but we train everybody that comes into our agency regardless of who brought them in the exact same way. And this is a sample of that. I'm going to do another part two version of this video and get into it a little bit deeper. But I hope you enjoy this. Please do leave me some comments because you obviously can tell that I read them. And uh, if you would, bless me by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share it with somebody else that may be considered the industry or is in the industry and is looking for really world-class, day-by-day, case-by-case, one-on-one, on-the-phone, case preparation support. And that's what we provide here. We have been since 2015. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the video. See you. I've never had an issue in my entire career with chargebacks, but here's what I've found to be the case through my career with training agents, and that is the agents that do not do a good job of that like, know, and trust relationship building in the home and after the sale, they may have issues with chargebacks. Here's my point. People buy with people they like, know, and trust. If you're doing a proper job and you're building that relationship, you're not just going in the home and it's boom, dropping numbers, write the application, grab the paperwork and get out of the house and never talk to your clients again, you should not have a chargeback issue. We have very few chargeback issues on our team and the ones that seem to have that are the ones that are rushing through the process. They're not communicating with their clients after the sale. They're not making sure they get the policy in the mail. They're not doing annual reviews. In other words, it's a one-off sale deal. They go in there, they write the business, they never talk to the clients again. Those are the agents that may potentially have problems with chargebacks. So my encouragement to all of you is, is that take the time in the home while you're writing the application. Remember the number one principle that people buy from people they like, know, and trust and then do the proper follow-up after the sale. I always call my clients after the sale. I inform them of the process while I'm in the home, and then I make sure and confirm they've actually got the policy from the carrier. I offer to go back by them or now with virtual to do it online virtually to review that policy with them to make sure it's exactly what we told them it was going to be in the home when we, or in the home or on virtual when we did the uh, presentation to begin with. And then I communicate with them throughout the course of the year via email uh, or I send them a, a, a greeting card and then I do annual reviews. 
or annual follow-up. That means one year from the time that you made the sale, call them on the phone and make sure that nothing has changed. A lot of things change over the course of the year with most families, newborn child, maybe a divorce, whatever, and make sure that they don't need more coverage or need some assistance from you. That's the old school way of, of selling life insurance and building a relationship with your clients so that they, their business stays on the books for a long period of time. You want them as a customer for life, not just a one-off sale. We tend in this business because we work leads and we're able to get in front of so many clients, we tend to, to not value each client as much as we should because we just go out and get another client and a lead and we're off. My encouragement again to you would be to build an old school insurance agency. Be in contact with your clients. Send them greeting cards once a year. Send them an email. Phone them up and, uh, once a year and make sure that nothing's changed or they, if maybe you want, they want you to come back out and review their current coverage. Maybe they moved. Maybe they have a more expensive home. Maybe they have a new child. All A lot changes like I said in the course of the year. So if you do that, you're not going to have a problem with chargebacks. Now, let me explain how chargebacks work. As I said earlier in the video, that it these are advanced commissions. So we haven't earned a thousand dollars when we write a thousand dollar policy because you haven't collected a thousand dollars in the home or virtually. If you'd sold the policy for a thousand and you collected an annual payment for a thousand dollars from the client, now you have received payment for that whole year and you would not be receiving an advanced commission. You'd be paid the whole commission rate because you collected the whole commission. Now you can go on as earned commissions, which means you, you would only get paid on what the carrier collects monthly. And that's a great way to do it if you're not in a situation where you have to earn a great deal of money. If you're going to be on advanced commissions, they're going to do you a favor and provide you a, a loan per se uh, as this client pays out over the period of nine months because you received nine months of advanced commissions. So you earned one month because that's what you got when you wrote the application. You got one month's worth of premium. We don't actually collect the premium, but we do get the ACH debit information from the bank. When the, when the insurance company puts the policy in place, they draft that first month's premium. If it clears, you then have earned one month, but you've collected nine months. So if that policy cancels, client dies, passes away, whatever, six months into it, you now have three months of advanced commissions that the carrier will not collect and they will charge you back a proration of your commission. Not 100% because again, they collected six out of nine. So they're going to be looking to get three months back. Now they're, they're not debt collectors. They're not going to send somebody out knocking on your door. What happens is, is you can either send them a check, get them a credit card, or they'll take it off the next business that you process as long as you're still actively producing. Okay, They're not going to wait for three or four years for you to produce something so they can get their money back. There's a time frame there and you need to be communicating with the carriers. Many of them will work out payment arrangements with you so you can turn in some business and wipe it out. No big deal. Charge bags are not an issue if you do this business properly. Now again, I'm talking about charge bags where the client goes, you know, changes policies and goes with a different agent and replaces your business. If you're doing it right, that won't happen very often. Unfortunately, we can't control people passing away. We are in the life insurance business. So if they pass away during that nine months, of course, they're not going to collect the rest of the money and you're going to be charged back whatever commission that you earn for a proration of the amount. So again, in review, if they collect the nine months, your client were to pass away in six, they put in six payments, you're going to owe back seven, eight, and nine. And again, you can do that via check, via credit card, or turn in new business, and they'll take a deduction off your commission for with the money you owe them. They're not debt collectors. They're not going to come knock on your door, and they're not going to report you to credit bureau as long as you take care of it in a timely manner. Hope that makes sense. Let's move on. Okay, I hope that cleared up some chargeback questions and why they're there in the first place. You don't have to ever experience chargebacks if you want to go on an as-earned basis. But if you want advanced commissions, in other words, they're advancing you your commission on a nine-month sale in month one. The minute that policy gets issued, right? So uh, that's why you have that. If, if they cancel in between that time, between the time you, you got paid and the nine months of uh, the nine-month period then you're going to have a pro rate of charge back. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, do me a favor again, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, make me a comment, please. Let me know what you want me to discuss in the upcoming videos. Anyway, that's a wrap. Thank you again for coming.
I appreciate you investing your time and watching my videos, and I hope in some way I return that favor. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Please join Angela and I in a prayer for this nation leading up to November 5th, 2024. Thank you. And this is Angela. And we're making a living 100% virtually, anytime, anywhere. While making a difference. Living the dream. While we travel the country. And we can help you do the same. Come along with us. We're grateful you're here. Subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Bye. Bye-bye.